And so, to wrap up, I'm kind of landing my plane here. <laughs> Value chains of freedom never give a brown person a stage because they can take time. <laughs> now in South Africa, I could say that and it would be okay. <laughs> here, it's politically incorrect, but you know what? <laughs> But anyway, and so we, <laughs> somebody's going to talk to me afterwards. And, uh, anyway. um, we start off with appreciative inquiry. I thought that was powerful and incredible. And then the ABCD process moved into asset mapping and, and communities discover their assets. And I thought, wow, that's, that's brilliant. And then they developed action plans themselves. And I think the next step, and, and coming from a donor or foundation's perspective, is performance measurement and evaluation. This has to be done. How do we know you're succeeding? How do we know that we're going to give you money again if you don't tell us how you're doing? And, but at the same time, it is something, and there is a, a mutual language. There's a, there's a translation issue. And donors and governments, etc., need to know this. They want to know this. That's how their world operates. But it is also good for communities. As individuals, you know, when you're training for the marathon, or like me, you watch people train for the marathon, <laughs> right? Uh, what's that? Yesterday, the 30,000 people watching uh, rugby. <laughs> uh, what, uh, what did he say? It's a, a rugby match or something. Is 30,000 people don't need the exercise watching 12 or so people who do need it? Yeah. And, but when you are training for a marathon, what do you do? How, you track a number, right? Either you're tracking your distance, your weight, or whatever. You know, how, how fast you're running, and that, is, that guides everything, and that's incredibly empowering because it tells you that you're succeeding. And I think the next step um, in terms of communities is for them to own their measurements, for them to own their evaluation, for it to come from them, to discuss it with all their partners, and then for them to track, monitor, and manage their own performance measurement and evaluation and then it becomes theirs and I think that's kind of the next step and that's kind of where we're working at. The only problem is it's messy because this is how communities work, right? They go all over the show. But companies and corporates and donors, etc., have year one, year two, year three. We need to know. And as you said, we've both got to change. I think that was powerful that both sides have to change and adjust to each other's requirements and how do we find this monitoring and evaluation that meets both our needs? I am closing, I promise. It's coming to an end. I'm, I'm landing. And so the question is measurement. Of all the measures you could have chosen, why do you, cho why do you choose these? Right? How do you change? You only change what you measure. And I think, Jody, you said it yesterday when you opened up in the evening. Do you do police per thousand? Or do you do measure the quality and quantity of relationships? And I think John had initially kicked that off by saying, this is what actually brings a safer and more secure society. Police per thousand, which is our traditional measures, right? You know, how many doctors per thousand? How many hospitals per thousand? The UN loves, and we love these measures because these are easy. These are messy. But this is actually causal. This is an effect. If this doesn't work, that's why you need police per thousand, right? If you had this, you wouldn't need the police per thousand. The police could be doing other things, right? <laughs> okay? So this is causal, and this is what we should be measuring. We're measuring the wrong things. And let communities decide this, because this can come from a community. This is what we can tell them. Hey, you need a thousand, you know, ten police per thousand or whatever it is. Communities can decide this. Don't worry, I'm not going to read all of this. But so, this is the UN hat that I wear. So we're working with the South African government in, with their National Social Development Agency. And we came up with, you know, for example, job creation or building a school. The South African government said, we want to build schools. The schools are important. So they build schools. There's a whole lot more to a school. A school is not necessarily an education. I went to a very bad school when I was a kid. And so I know I didn't get much of an education. Right? But I did go to school. And... Uh, so there's a lot more working with the community, for example, to are the, is the community participating in the school governing wards? Do the mums understand early childhood development? Is it a school nutrition bus bringing food to the school to feed kids? Or is the community growing vegetables and supplying the school, for example? So there's a whole lot more to a school. And a school is a community, and we know that. But if you're not measuring that, you wouldn't ever achieve that. And so these are the kind of questions that we're asking the South African government. And these are the questions for the first time that they're taking into account when they build schools or hospitals or police stations. And so where is this coming from? The balanced scorecard. And this was a, a business term. And, I, and I, you know, coming from the corporate sector, this is, businesses do it. They ask their customers what they want, right? Why is it that the UN or donors, et cetera, or as, why don't we ask the community what they want? You know, surely rocket science. You know, it's, it's not rocket science. Maybe it is. Yeah. You saw the rocket there. 
<laughs> and so this is kind of what we thought, and this is what Kaplan, who was the big, big Harvard Business School professor in the 80s, and he came up with a balanced scorecard that companies across the world use. So on uh, two days ago, I spoke to Brianne. Where's Brianne? <laughs> there you go. She's the timekeeper. Yeah, she's the thank you. <laughs> okay. And, and Brianne said, you know what? Here are four measures that she knows make a difference in a community. And here are some questions that we could ask. Some are soft and some, but these are questions that a community can ask and measure. So can we have a balanced scorecard for, for communities to measure and evaluate? And so a little push in the right direction can make a huge difference. And I think that's what ABCD is, right? We're just giving that little push. In fact, we're facilitating a push because it's really the community that makes that push. So, to end off, change is messy. You re really never know a man till you walk a mile in his shoes. Atticus Finch from one of my favorite books, uh, To Kill a Mockingbird, Lee Harper. But of course, before you criticize someone, walk a mile in his shoes. That way, if he gets angry, he'll be a mile away and barefoot. <laughs> <laughs> right, thank you.